in the Moscow snow lies the wreckage of a Russian plane. The Tupolev jet belonged to the Russian airline Red Wings. On board, there were no passengers, but eight crew. The plane had been coming into land south of Moscow, but overshot the airport runway and crashed through a perimeter fence. It burst into flames and broke into three pieces. The nose section, including the cockpit, was torn from the fuselage. It ended up on a road near the runway. Emergency teams were quickly on the scene. They had to fight their way into the mangled aircraft. Miraculously, inside, they found some survivors. They'd been seriously injured and were rushed to hospital. But two pilots, the flight engineer and a stewardess, had been killed. On Russian television, the country's Minister for Emergencies ordered that relatives of the dead and the injured be given all the support they need. Red Wings is owned by the Russian tycoon Alexander Lebedev, who also owns the independent newspaper and the London Evening Standard. Tonight, the aircraft's cockpit was removed from the crash site and taken away to be examined. Russia's Prime Minister has ordered an inquiry into the disaster. Investigators are examining three possible causes. Bad weather, technical failure and pilot error. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Moscow.